folks, here we go. I got smoke rolling in the outdoor kitchen. We got plenty of pits lit up today, guys. And what I'm doing is, is I am cooking pork belly. I'm gonna show you three different ways to make a fantastic meal using pork belly. If you've never had it, you need to try it. If you have tried it, you need to watch this video and see some different ways to do it. Guys, I've got some great recipes coming your way, so stick around and let me show you how to make up some fantastic pork belly on my ugly drum smoker, on the kettle grill, and on my outlaw smoker pellet grill. I am Chef Johnny, this is Texas Style Barbecue and Cuisine, and I am in the Barbecue Pit Masters of YouTube uh, competition. Hey guys, this is the third round, there's six of us in here, and uh, I'm going against Tommy over at the Gallery Backyard Barbecue. He is great, he's a lot of competition. I'm gonna need you to go watch him, link will be below, and then I'm gonna need you to head over to uh, Smokin' Joe's Pit Barbecue community page and put in that vote for Chef Johnny. Really do need your votes and the links for all that will be below where you can find it. I do have three fantastic recipes for you today. The first one, guys, is gonna be on my Outlaw Smokers pellet grill, and uh, it's gonna be a rolled up pork belly. Some of y'all, it's called a roulade. Some of y'all may think, oh, that's a uh, porchetta. It's not porchetta, you gotta have the skin on. This pork belly does not have the skin, so it's a roulade. It's a roll, gonna show you how to do that, gonna make a great sandwich out of it. And again, guys, this is no skin, this is fat, it is not the skin. So you're not gonna get those chicharrones like some people like, that crispy part. Uh, if you wanna go ahead and hatch mark this fat that's on there, so the uh, seasoning will get further down in there, it's totally okay to do that, right? Just not, not real thick, guys. You just wanna be uh, kinda through the fat to the meat. That's gonna let your seasoning get just a little bit closer. I will do this on all three. I'll probably just show it to you on this first one. But there it is. Now we can come in here and get you a good sharp knife. This nice sharp knife I just got. This pork is nice and sticky, so I'm not gonna use a binder on it today. But one thing I'm gonna do now is I am gonna open this up. We're gonna take it on the thick side. I'm gonna take my knife and we are going to just cut this right down the middle. Kind of turn this way, maybe y'all can see a little bit better. And the only reason I'm doing this far is, is just so we can get uh, some uh, seasonings all the way through this. This roulade is gonna make us a very nice sandwich. Now you can see, got a little, a little opening there. That's not gonna hurt us. It's gonna be rolled up. Either. It's still gonna be great uh, presentation. It's gonna have some great seasoning in it. And what I'm gonna use on this roulade today is, is I'm gonna be using two different rubs. I'm gonna use some uh, Uncle Steve shake. Uh, it's uh, pig shake, it's competition pig shake. And, I, and from the Bearded Butchers, I'm gonna be using their Chipotle blend. And I'm just gonna give me a nice coating of uh, this competition pig powder. And that Chipotle is gonna give it a nice uh, additional taste to it. It's gonna it's gonna complement it real well. And I tell you what also, guys, is I'm gonna have my Chipotle barbecue sauce on this, so these Chipotles are gonna blend well together. That's done, let's flip it over. Again, our competition pig shake, coat of it, and some uh, bearded butcher's Chipotle. I really do like this. Guys, be watching, I'm gonna have a video coming out on uh, making sausage with this. Makes a great sausage. There we go, that's ready. Now we're gonna get this rolled up. We're just gonna put it back together. And we're gonna use butcher's twine to tie it up with. Give me about five pieces. So what I've got here, guys, is I'm gonna take my first string, take it right to the middle, coming in here. And when you tie this, take about three, two or three overhand loops. And when you pull it tight, it stays, it doesn't slip off. So that's gonna help you uh, when you put that second knot in it to keep it secure. So that works good there. Let's do one on this end. And it's gonna go the same way, same process. And we did this one first, guys, because it's gonna take a little cook longer to cook because it's rolled up, right? Tie it up nicely, gonna take my knots, just get the excess string off here. If you wanted to even up this end, you could. I'm not gonna do that today. 
Well, one thing I am gonna do is, is if you look now, it kind of opened up these, these cracks, right? So I'm gonna take a little bit of my Chipotle and we're gonna get it down where those cracks were. I'm gonna check that pellet grill and if it's ready, 250 degrees, we're gonna get this on it. Here we go, outlaw smokers to temp. We're gonna set this right in the middle of this top grate. Probably flip it in for end after a while, but I'm thinking about three, three and a half hour. We're gonna take this and make burn ends out of it. You can see the hatch marks are in this one. And I've got some hot, dirty bird going on first. Look at that one, I open that up, guys, look at that. That's why we're gonna get a lot of flavor on this one. Just pull that open. Let that seasoning get in there. Some people will cut these into squares first. I don't like to do that. I cook them like I would my uh, point on my brisket, right? So with that, now I'm coming back with some uh, honey killer bee. Uh, they also have a chipotle version of this, guys, that is real good. So smoke's gonna get in a little bit more. Flavor is going to get in a little bit more. We're getting these seasonings down in these cracks. These burnt ends are going to cook up really nice. Flip it over. Get a uh, hot, dirty bird. Hold that bottle up high. And remember, when you do, it helps it spread out a little bit more. And finish this off with a uh, honey killer bee. That's it, guys. I'm gonna let this sweat out a little bit. We're gonna get it onto the Ugly Drum Smoker at about 275. And again, around a three hour cook, we are gonna wrap it in foil once it hits where I like it. So it's gonna be 160, 180 degrees, but when it looks right, I'm gonna wrap it. So we're gonna get this on the Ugly Drum Smoker. Let's see how we fix up uh, the pork belly for those seared pork belly tacos. I am gonna use a binder, didn't use a binder on the other two. What I have here is chipotles in adobo blended up with a little bit of olive oil. Makes a great binder. I've done this before. You may have seen my, uh, my pork belly slider video and it is on there. So I'm just gonna take some of this, put it on here and we're gonna rub it in and we're gonna come in here and make sure we get it in these cracks. See those cracks where we've made? That way we have this chipotle. Guys, if you've never had chipotle bacon, you do not know what you're missing. And this is basically what we're doing here. Of course, this isn't cured, but pork belly turns into pork bacon, guys. We're gonna get this chipotle flavor all over it. This is for our tacos, and these are gonna make some tremendous seared pork belly tacos. I'm gonna use uh, Galindo's uh, Texas Trinity. Guys, this is excellent. And then we're gonna go on top with some Suckle Busters. They're a uh, gold dust, which is a nice all-purpose kind of Mexican Tex-Mex style, style seasoning. So, give me a good, good coating of the uh, Texas Trinity from Galindo's. You can find that on my buddy uh, Rick Galindo's channel. He'll, he'll ship these out to you. Tell him Chef Johnny sent you over there. He'll appreciate that. But that with this Chipotle binder, guys, is gonna be fantastic. And I'm just gonna do a light coating of this uh, gold dust from Suckle Busters. Flip it over now, back to our Galindos. And again, I'm gonna try to pick it up and get some in the cracks here, right? And just take a little bit of our Suckle Busters back up on top. I'm gonna get this open. It's a little bit under, it's about 275, 280. I'm gonna go uh, fat side up on this one. And guys, on this side, what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna scrunch it a little bit and I'm gonna put the thinner side away from the heat. Let it go about 45 minutes an hour and we're gonna flip it end for end. And what I'm also gonna do is, is I'm gonna put a uh, temperature gauge in this one. I got a new little thermometer and guys, it's, it's, you know, it's a probe thermometer, right? But it has, it's kind of cool, right? I'll put a link down below for it. I think you're gonna give a discount code. And this uh, slow and sear kettle does have a port, which is handy. And we're just gonna plug this in right here. We're gonna take this one up to about 180, oh, maybe 185 degrees. 
and uh, then we're going to sear it off. But it's on. Plug in my temperature probe. Now it's reading on the probe instead of this one right here. So we'll track that and see how it does. Meats are cooking well, guys. We got them on the pits. The, the pits are purring. We're adding smoke to that meat. Those pork bellies are going to taste great. But while we are waiting on them, get ready to wrap them, I'm going to show you the other dishes we're going to have on here today. First one is going to be a fantastic apple guacamole. Now, the original recipe here, I, I varied it a little bit, came from a chef by the name of Rick Bayless. I met Rick at the Culinary Institute of America a few times now. And anyways, a fantastic authority of Mexican food. A great chef, great guy. But I'm going to show you a little variation of his apple guacamole. And it's going to go great with these uh, seared pork belly tacos. So come in here. Let me show you how to make this guacamole. Y'all can see i got two large avocados. They're already uh, sliced up. I'm just going to put them off into my bowl. And guys, this is going to be kind of a chunky kind of uh, guacamole. I'm not going to take it real fine. It's going to take my fork and just start breaking this down. All right, we got some nice chunks still in that. It's looking pretty good. We're going to start coming in with our next ingredients. I'm going to drop in about two teaspoons of minced garlic. Get that in there. Juice of one lime. That's looking pretty good. Take a little uh, sea salt here. Two big pinches of that. Get that in. Now the last thing going in is this green apple. Guys, this is a granny, a large Granny Smith that's been diced up. We're gonna put it in there. And it's a pretty small dice. Didn't want it too big and we're just gonna stir this through our guacamole. Next item we're making is the apple slaw that's gonna go on to our sandwich. Guys, it's gonna be a pork belly sandwich with pig candy on it. And we're gonna put a nice tart green apple and cabbage slaw on it. So let me show you how to make that slaw real quick. And what I'm gonna do is, is I'm just gonna take, oh, I've got about a quarter cup of olive oil, just an extra virgin olive oil, kinda spread it around on there. If you wanted to mix this in another bowl and pour it over, you could. And this is about a third cup of apple cider vinegar. That's going in. I have a tablespoon of minced garlic right up on top. Then I have some nice uh, sea salt. Just give me a liberal amount of that. Let's toss this together. Mix that around on it. Guys, then with that pig candy we're putting on here, this tartness of this slaw is going to go really well with that. Plus, I've got my chipotle barbecue sauce. And now I'm going to take some of our uh, bearded butcher's chipotle. I'm going to shake a good amount of that up on top. Give a nice little kick to this slaw. Now, I have two Granny Smith green apples that I have cut into sticks. You can see that. I'm going to drop those in. So that's how we're getting our apple slaw today, mix that in with our cabbage. This is going to go great on that sandwich. And we're going to start looking at wrapping those pork bellies pretty quick. This one's looking good. We're up a little over 180 degrees. I'm going to wrap this and get it back on there. As you can see, beautiful color on this uh, pork belly right here. I'm going to take it. I'm going to wrap it up nice and good. Get it good and tight. If you wanted to put some moisture in here with it, wouldn't hurt anything, but there's so much fat on these pork bellies, usually you do not have to uh, add moisture to get moisture in them because they are already packed with all that fat. Now, we're gonna get this back on there. When it probes about 200, maybe 205 degrees, I'm gonna pull it off. We're gonna cut them into little cubes, re-season them, sauce them, put them back on there to set that sauce. So we're gonna have some fantastic burn ends made out of this pork belly here. Let me get them back on the ugly drum smoker. This is the pork belly that came off the slow and sear kettle. We're gonna get it wrapped. Remember, this is gonna be our seared pork belly tacos. So kind of the same, same process. Gonna roll it up, wrap it up, get it back onto that kettle. And we're gonna take this one. Since we're gonna sear them off, we'll probably keep this one under 200 degrees. 
it is time for pig candy. If you've never had pig candy, you are in for a treat and you need to try it. Guys, I've got some thick sliced bacon up here, uh, 12 ounces, 12 ounce package. But I'm just gonna take some honey. Just get the honey of your choice, whatever you like, spread it on your uh, bacon. This is gonna be an ooey gooey sweetness. It's gonna take a little brush, kinda cover them real good so they get coated all the way. Next is our uh, competition pig shake from Uncle Steve Shake. So just give me a little bit of that, just a light coating on this thick sliced bacon and honey. Next thing we're gonna put on it is brown sugar. Come over here and just drizzle brown sugar across the top of this bacon. But it is gonna be a nice, nice topping on top of this uh, sandwich that we're making from those uh, pork belly roulades. Here we go, let's get these on here. You can get a good look at that. Uh, Roulade is looking really pretty, getting a lot of color to it. It is getting close to time to pull off. It's about 190 degrees right now, so it won't be much longer. Pull it off, let it cool. We're gonna take these down and uh, try to candy all this up, let that brown sugar melt to some fantastic goodness going on top of that sandwich. I just got that pork belly off of the Ugly Drum Smoker. It's ready to be cubed up. We're gonna cube it up. We're gonna season it up with some more of that honey killer bee and go on top of that with a cherry apple habanero glaze. So let's get that done, get it back on the ugly drum smoker. And we're getting very close to having pork belly burn in. I'm gonna cut this in the middle of that is beautiful mahogany. Now I could do them smaller and make more or I could do them bigger. I think I'm gonna go smaller. So I'm gonna cut this into thirds right here. Cut off one third of that one one third right there we're gonna do the same thing over here would you look at that man aren't you glad that fell over where you could see all that juice and goodness right there that is pretty turn it this way and we're gonna cut it halfway just eyeball the center and I think this time I can get three out of here. Let's do that. Here's just a little flyover of these cubes we've got. Boy, you can see that smoke ring that Ugly Drum Smoker put on it. Beautiful mahogany color. Let's get these seasoned up, sauced up, and back on that Ugly Drum Smoker. I'm gonna take that Honey Killer Bee, and we're gonna coat these all the way around, all sides, and I'm gonna put them over in my tin and glaze those with a cherry apple habanero uh, rib glaze. This is a tremendous glaze. It's gonna put a tremendous amount of flavor on these. We're gonna get them back on there, let them uh, get kind of candied up, right? Get them back off. And uh, we got the roulade about ready to make the sandwich. We got the tacos making. We are just about ready to go and let y'all see all three of these dishes. But right now, we're going with our apple habanero glaze. And guys, we're carrying that apple theme on every one of our dishes tonight. It is getting close to supper time, folks. I'm fixing to slice up this pork belly. It just came off the slow and sear kettle. And guys, it is looking pretty. Took a little sample, don't taste bad either. Folks, I'm just gonna take this and start getting me slices off. Oh, three eighths of an inch, maybe half an inch. Would you look at this goodness coming off of here? That, I tell you what, that adobo just gives a great, great flavor. Look at this pork belly here. Look at how tender it is already. It was right at 200 degrees. So you can see I got the griddle nice and hot and put a little olive oil on here. Not a lot, just a little bit. One thing to remember also is if this starts getting too hot for you, you can always control your temperature on the bottom, but pull it forward a little bit, gets it right off the direct fire, and it'll help you a little bit, keep it a little bit cooler. So we're gonna take some of our pork bellies now and we're gonna lay them right there. Put it back where it was, this was not over hot, so do that. Man, would you listen to that sizzle? Take these pork bellies now and turn them over. Oh yeah, look at that, they crisped up some right there. That is looking pretty. Look at that. Folks, these tacos are gonna be tremendous. Those are looking great. You can see how they turned out. 
Guys, what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna cook up the rest of them. Then we'll get back with y'all when we start putting these inside of some tacos. This roulade's been resting. It is ready to, for us to take a peek at. Boy, that is tender. Let's open it up for y'all. Man, look at that. I mean, I'm gonna slice these all about three quarters of an inch thick. Boy, look at them, they're trying to fall apart there. These are gonna make a beautiful, beautiful sandwich. Go along with that pig candy. Man, you see my nice, pretty bread toasted on the inside. I'm gonna take some of my chipotle barbecue sauce, coat the inside of that really good. I'm gonna take some of these roulades, right? Or the rolls, the rounds. We'll put them on this sandwich. Guys, I tell you what, this is just a beautiful, beautiful sandwich. We're gonna get this thing built up. Now on top of that, I'm gonna put a, just a small drizzle of some more chipotle barbecue sauce, and then we're gonna come with some of our pig candy. On top of that, guys, this is, ooh, I think three of them's gonna be enough right there. Got three of those on there, and now some of that slaw we made earlier, our apple and cabbage slaw. Been soaking in that vinegar for a while, so we're coming on top with it. Would you look at this sandwich coming together now? Back up on top, there is a beautiful roulade sandwich made out of pork belly, folks, and it's a pretty one. Ooh, that was that pig candy. I heard the crunch right there. Let's open this up for y'all. How does that look? Now, for presentation on this sandwich, what you want to do is you don't want to serve it uh, round, closed. You want to serve this open face. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it on our tray. There you go, guys. A very, very pretty presentation on a very, very good sandwich. We're going to make a couple of these tacos real quick. And we're going to come with a strip of uh, pork belly in here. Look at that. Kind of cut these in half. Let's get just a little bit more in there, right? Look at that. Beautiful. Some of our apple guacamole showed you how we made that a while ago. It's gonna come in. It goes across here. Looking pretty. Now some of our roasted salsa camada. Across the top of that. Y'all have gotta try this roasted salsa. It is fantastic. Now, for a little green on one, I'm gonna put some uh, some thinly sliced serrano peppers. I'm going to put a little uh, cilantro on the other one, but there's two beautiful, beautiful tacos made out of seared pork belly. There you have it, folks. Pork belly three ways, three pork bellies, three pits, one day cook. We did a lot today. It's been a long day. I hope you enjoy this video, but now it's time to get to taste and see exactly how good each one of these pork bellies came out. Guys, that, that is a full tray of meat. That is a beautiful sandwich. And we're going to start tasting these babies just to see how they turned out. I think I'm going to take a taco first. Seared pork belly taco, apple guacamole, cilantro, roasted tomato salsa. This is going to be a great taco. Let's get a bite of it. I'll tell you what, boys and girls, that is a fantastic taco. You, if you don't try anything else I did today, Try that seared pork belly taco, cause that is tremendous. Now we're moving on to that sandwich. A pork belly roulade with a apple cabbage slaw and pig candy. That's gonna be hard to get in your mouth, guys. I'm gonna squeeze it down and try to get a bite of it. Great sandwich. All right, guys. Great tacos, great sandwich. Moving to these beautiful burn ends. Take this right up in the front. Apple, habanero. We had some uh, hot dirty bird with some uh, honey killer bee on it from Cosmos. And then of course, 
the cherry apple habanero, but these burn ends are looking pretty. They're glossy. Let's give them a try. Oh man, they are as good as I thought they were gonna be. Great pork belly. There you go, guys. Three pork bellies, three different ways on three different cookers. Appreciate you dropping in and watching this. I hope you like the recipes. Give them all a try. Ask me any questions in the comments down below. Hey, thanks for stopping by Texas Style Barbecue and Cuisine. Always do appreciate it. We're going to see you all down the road.